Let's take a look. Hey everybody, welcome back. And now it is time to hopefully finish this up. Oh, awesome. So it's not going to give me a chance to rest to recover the injuries. There we are, friend. Open up now and receive me. Watcher of Cad Nua, Herald of Bereth, I'm afraid that we, that I, cannot allow you to interfere. We've come entirely too close to turn away now. Communion. All of the knowledge in these halls, all of the memories, it all descends, flowing into this titanic form. The me, too, that we were before. I feel it there, pulsing like a heart. It's your story that ends here, I'm afraid. And none shall remember it. Recall everything. Everything we've ever known. Everything we've never known. We recall young Fionnledge. Promising apprentice of the Sheathwood. Indomitable Fionnledge, the Arcane Knight. Fionnledge, the Unspoiled. Archmage of the Circle. Fionnledge, wake of the Hand Occult. All knew us, for the spells that bore our name, if nothing else. Fionnledge's wall of flames, Fionnledge's wall of many colors, Fionnledge's pristine barrier. His transformation has done little for his stability of mind. we have earned. We will not be silenced. One will not bury us as they did the ones who came before. You don't believe the Enquithans were first, do you? Or alone? You already know of the Huang. There were others. Enquith established global influence, not eternal dominion. We cannot allow your egress. Too many secrets taint you as they tainted Fionnledge. You must be purified. The elf holds his grimoire like a clumsy uh, initiate. I can't even rest. I don't see any injuries on anybody, so that actually does kind of make things a little better. Damn it. Okay, that's better. Okay, these things, what is that? Arcane channel, all right. Oh boy, how many of those do we have? One, two, three, four, all right. Of course. Yeah, he's not liking me taking out his arcane channel thingies. I'll think we're the wrong. Okay, well. Shit. I was pretty sure I gotta take those out, but I'm. Um, I'm gonna just gonna take a shot at taking this guy out without that shit. Ah, uh, Ulu's 
Dante, what the hell are you doing, Seraphim? What's wrong with you? Fine, so why aren't you... Oh, you have, like, no fucking... Oh my god, dude. This little bastard is just about worthless when it comes to combat. Sorry, friend. You can't. Just like what? Okay, that's one gone. Come on, keep going after it. Oh, he's killing. Come on. Happy to oblige. Lava room beyond sick. Take that. Okay, good. That's down. What for? Just like that. Lava room beyond sick. Come on. Say your prayers. Oh, can't take much more. Love will be on safe. Oh, fucking little weak ass mage motherfucker. No can do. Yeah. Stop attacking me, goddamn boss, and take out his fucking. Yeah, I swear to God, dude. There are times when the AI can just really piss you off. Come on, guys, finish the motherfucker off. Okay, good. Now, every, uh, what's left of everybody? That might not have been a better strategy to use. Hey, who side are you on? He's dominated. God damn it. Yeah, I'm done. Fuck. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey. Here we go. I haven't hardly done shit to him. Some good times. 
Yeah, good times not defined is this fucking fight. Okay, maybe I go all in on him? I don't know. Fuck. And this is another example of the AI, or the uh, boss, being basically yoked up. Of course, reducing us to five party members rather than the old PoE ones, six. Also, kind of a crippling thing. <sighs> Shit. What should I've cut all of them? It Recall everything. Everything we've ever known. Everything we've never known. Recall young Fionnich. All right, well, let's try going all in on this fucker. We're not alone. I'll take care of it. Now, these things had somewhat less, uh... Less yeah. health. That would probably be better. Yeah, see, you can't take it out fast enough. That's, that's the problem. It, it, that's actually incredibly kind of frustrating because it's, you know... Now, if these were defined as hostile, that'd be a little different because then your attacks would bounce around and do something, but... Futile. <laughs> Okay, uh, where the hell is console hot? That's a tentacle. Okay, console hot's in somewhere, but... There you are. Okay, this is turning out badly. All right, back to the drawing board. I will be right back. Oh shit! It just wiped out all my fucking people. Just as it looks like I've got a fucking chance, it just goes pow. Drops everybody like a bad fucking habit. Turns out Gaze of the A Dragon works really good on this thing. being a frustrating ass fight too, unfortunately. I managed to repress it. 
Yeah, they did kind of get a little bit crazy with the boss fights in this, because I think they figured the ones in PoE 1 were a little too easy. Ah, fuck me running. Okay, well, let's see if there's any other strategies I could find. Anything else that might work a little better. I don't remember using Gaze of the A-Dragon at it. I remember just keeping summons in between it and me um, for the most part. But that didn't work, as you can see. Um, there's something else I'm forgetting. I just can't remember what the fuck it was. But there was another another thing you can do to really kind of fuck this thing over. But um, it's just not coming. I'll be back. i right, just in time. Shit. Okay, the secret is, he summons adds as his health drops through each spot, basically. He's got four sections of health. Each time one is removed, then he will summon an adds. You have to take out the adds. These fucking things will stun him when destroyed. Don't bother. They take way too much damage to actually be useful. The polyps, as you can see, one of them got popped. They just slow your ass down when you try to move through them. Um... Stunning is basically the only way to deal with this guy. So like Gaze of the A-Dragon and things like that are basically the only thing you've got. If it spells stuns him, that's better. And of course, reducing his defense helps as well. But yeah, let's just put it this way. It took me probably close to eight or nine tries. Even then, I still got a little bit pummeled. For some reason he was targeting the Watcher primarily. Alias feathered ass. It'd be like a ship at sea. Except the ship beyond mines and the sea, the bastards dying. would see us blinded and mindless for knowing too much. Purify everything in this place. And now the Oracle does its actual fucking job. Oh, hello. We didn't see you there. Like stars across the night sky. The darkness splits into a hundred hundred eyes of different shapes, sizes, and colors. Well, we recognize you, Barret's Herald, if we're not mistaken. Oh, you, as delightful as ever. It's strange, though. We find that we were just not thinking about you for the first time in, well, in some time. Where exactly might you be? I'm inside you, deep inside How you. How delightfully suggestive. <laughs> we don't suppose you would care to... Mm, clarify. Oh, that does not seem at all correct. We are quite certain. Or fairly certain, at least. Moderately certain, certainly. That we killed our terrestrial body just as we promised we would. Not that we're above the occasional bent truth. But we don't recall not killing our body. And that really seems the sort of thing that we'd remember. <laughs> Indeed. We do have fun, don't we, Harold? But we were discussing our body and your preposterous claim to lurk within it. Not in the slightest, though it does sound like something we would do. Hmm. We wonder if the Lady of Lament may be having a spot of fun with us. We didn't think the old fish had it in her. 
Absence of evidence provides no evidence of absence. No, this hardly seems her style. We suspect she'd have simply sent this place to the bottom of the sea. Perhaps, though, no, surely not. But what if... Well, it certainly would delight us. Perhaps, dear Harold, we hid our body from ourselves. How terribly perverse of us. <laughs> and thoroughly irresponsible. When we hide something from ourselves, we hide it from the world. The world forgets about it. And it forgets about itself. And how are you feeling, dear Harold of Bareth? I feel sticky. How unsanitary. But now we're left with a conundrum. What to do? What to do with this overgrown sack of me? Yes, yeah, so you can choose uh, a whole lot of different little options, like including giving console hot access. And yes, there is an ending card to that, and uh, I believe I have a spare save game. So I might, when I get done here, I might just go ahead and uh, actually beat the game and record that particular uh, ending card as a bonus, you know, whenever I finally do finish the game. Yeah. That's so charmingly naive, Harold. You don't truly believe us, do you? No, we think we'll simply forget about it again. That seemed to be working well enough. Wow's eyes look among one another, exchanging thoughtful glances. Yes, but how often does history repeat itself? Uh, don't answer that. We did rather make a mess of things, didn't we? Andre did, rather. And Abidon. Wurga helped. And don't get us started on Remergun. Then there's the whole Aethys affair. Oh, yes, yes. The Oracle through whom you commune with us serves as the body's brain, so to speak. Slay it when you return. And all will unfold as you dictated. Wild's eyes close and are gone. Your stomach lurches as the ground disappears from under you. And with a sensation like a pop somewhere deep within the recesses of your mind, you plummet back into your physical body. The air cloys at your skin, humid and warm. Boy, Captain. Welcome back to the dead fire. Thank God you're back. You gazed into that big eyeball any longer, I was gonna get jealous. I'm glad to see you return to us with all your faculties intact. I thought about stamming it in, well, the eye, I guess, while you were taking that nap. But, well, what if you were inside of it or something? I refuse. Oh, come on. Okay, now we'll loot the uh, Oracle of Walt. And all I get is the Ring of Clinched Muscle. Gee, that's not suggestive. Yeah, that one's just gonna go in the fucking in the stash and just get buried. Okay, elementalist bracers. Meh. For such a great archmage, you think he'd have like better stuff. Whatever. So now the Titans of 
wall is down. Oh, good. That's an absolutely fantastic way to come back into the uh, temple. You're, you're back! And a bit more alive than I anticipated. You've got some gore on you. It's just awful. Uh, really, Aaron, let me help. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. You've returned in one piece. Do you hear that? Silence. Beautiful silence. Wal's titan form is dead, and it's your doing. We no longer need fear whatever destruction it may have rained upon Aora. Well done. I'll miss it. The shadow of Wal's horrible body has been like a second home. We could have learned so much. Now we're leaving it to rot. Don't worry, Kane. You can have the next god body. I'm sure you're right. As always, I just need some time with my grief. What do you plan to do next? Oh, what the hell. Oh, hell, Watcher. You aiming to make me blush in front of our new friends? Enjoy yourself. You deserve a reprieve, whatever comes after this. If we don't see each other again, take care. Meeting you was a unique pleasure I won't soon forget. Okay, Picarna, you wanted... I remember you! This is the one! Stand back, Watcher. I have waited so long for this moment. Not even gratitude will slow me down. Watcher, I doubt I could forget the words if I live to be a thousand, but let me write them down where they belong. <coughs> Excuse me. There. Becarna's midnight daydream. Not a bad ring to it, huh? Keep this uh, as a memento, my friend. A nice statement piece for the dinner table. That hum of power is relaxing in the palm of your hand, no? You scribed a new spell? Right there on the spot? I had an early draft prepared already. But it was missing a little something. It channels starlight into a living ball, inspiring and motivating all that it touches before dispersing back into the ether. Y your spell is an orb? Is, it, is this a joke at my expense? What are you trying to do? Upstage my greatest achievement? Or is this outright plagiarism? Am I? Easy to say when you've got your boat, your, your pets, your watcher vision, your castle. Well, yeah, I've got your castle, but that's hardly the point. That orb made me. I'm nothing without it. Tame. I will explain if you will give me the space to fit in a word. Your orb was the first spell I ever learned. When I saw how you harnessed the chaos, pain, and uncertainty of a restless mind, I was never the same. The orb dazzled me. It still does. So if my spell has an echo of yours, it is only because I am the result of my influences. And I want to inspire others the way you inspire me. Huh. I believe I owe you an apology. Your orb is very nice. Uh, once we're done here, I can recommend you some good scribes to copy it down. After all, once you're an archmage, you'll be responsible for any misprints. <laughs> I would like that. As spells go, it is a little tough to control. But maybe not bad for a first start. As you say, I happened upon this friendly looking book while you were out looking for the star metal. And here there is a blank page, like it was waiting for us. May you do great things with it. Thanks to you, I have remembered much, and learned more than I could ever forget. 
Agrasim are watching. This would have been extremely unlikely without good friends. Okay, well, that basically is it for uh, the Hidden Sanctum. So now that we've finished that, I'm going to go ahead and pop up to the surface. Um, I think next, because I'm in the region, I will pick up the next two islands for uh, Sansa's mapping research. And next time we uh, pick up the video, I'll be turning that quest in. Um, or I might just go ahead and turn that one in off camera and just go ahead and do the last couple of quests in uh, Queen's Birth. You know, since they're not really that interesting. Just trying to get the experience, you know, because, uh... Well, we've got quite a ways to go before we hit 20th. Because I do want to be extra yoked up for whenever I get to, uh... Seeker Slayer Survivor, which is the next DLC coming up. Um... The last one, I forget what the hell it's called. Oh, anyway, the last one. Elthas will take what remains. I want to be a minimum twentieth level, if not higher, because the, literally the first thing you do is fight an undead dragon. So it's kind of like not exactly fair. Hmm. I mean, it's possible bring bring a dragon down, obviously, because the original game had a level cap of twenty, but it's not easy. And of course. Basically, the entire point to that DLC is to finally finish that dragon off permanently. Because the damn thing, even though you kill it, it keeps coming back to life. And you have to discover the way to get rid of it permanently. It's a pretty interesting DLC. Ow. Okay, cat, get down. Alright, well anyway guys, with that, I'm just going to go ahead and call it right here, because it's taking forever to load, so whatever. Well, there we go. Alright, well anyway, I will catch you guys next time.